and Anchors Up sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. How are you doing? Doing good, doing good, doing good. Let's see. We we covered the Ohio State game on Monday. We gave some grades out. Today we're here to talk about the rest of the college football world. We call this collegiate chaos. Any general thoughts about the weekend or do you want to jump right into it? Um, taking more lives and it could have been, yeah. it could have been worse. Could have been, what? this could have been a bloodbath of a weekend. <laughs> yeah. I'll, 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 okay. just, I'll just start off. I'll just start off by saying um, in terms of lower ranked beating high ranks or unranked beating ranks, we've had four. And then there was an additional five other games that was really close as well. So listen, <laughs> let's have a quick conversation. Yes, let's have a quick conversation here, Jared. <laughs> Virginia Tech got screwed. <clears throat> they did. Absolutely. They absolutely did get screwed. And I, by proxy, also got screwed. You did. Yes, you did. And I'm not happy about it. And by the way, I'm going to try not to curse early in the show. It's a YouTube thing. <laughs> It's a weird YouTube thing. If you curse later in the show, they don't mind as much as if you curse early in the show. It's a weird YouTube thing. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite my tongue for a moment. Missouri went to double overtime the week before. I'm getting real close on these. You know what they say, Jared? Something about horseshoes and hand grenades. It. Close doesn't cut it. Yeah, something like <laughs> that. Yeah. I'm tired of getting screwed on the chaos theory picks. Yeah, but as we look on the score on the chaos theory scoreboard, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get I get I get on the board there with the with the old miss with the old miss loss to Kentucky, new, new, new which for the record out. I told you was a very good pick. Yeah, I, I mean that's that was my number one pick. The number two that I I had was, um, what was the number two? I mean, my number two was the Ole Miss game. Like uh, that, I was between those two games personally. I think like my third or fourth one would have been like that Utah, Arizona one. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and go ahead and claim responsibility that, that was for that after down. the fact. It, it, go ahead. But and it doesn't yeah. matter though. Yeah. Sure. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Though. Okay. Okay, Kyle. Okay, Kyle. It doesn't matter though. All right. So our our Sloop Cats have thirteen points through. Five weeks, I have 20. Jared, still looking for the board here. Jared's still looking not to get screwed. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. All right. All right. Let's get to the tier list. Oh, wait a minute. Six no, this ahead. is the Sloop Pick scoreboard where Kyle, yeah, you're doing, I now you're have a three really well. game lead over you. You are. Yes, you're doing really well. I'm, that being I'm, said, I'm, 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 I'm you. spanked both of us <laughs> yeah. this weekend. He did. Yeah. I'm That's actually you, the Jared. second week in a row. Uh, that the, the the guest pickers have kind of owned us. And despite going 0 for 7 in week three, which thankfully yeah. for the guest pickers was a was a, a shared responsibility over at least two people. Spikes may have been one of them. We had little time yeah. to prepare. That's true. That that is true, Spikes. Yeah. Uh but Spikes redeemed himself in week four with a five and two, which was a tough week to get that. Because Kyle and I both went three and four in week four. And then in week five, Suncard with an amazing performance going six and yeah. one. I went five and two, which ain't too bad. Kyle, yeah. four and three, which, hey, any day, any week over 500 is a good week. Yep. Yep. You're still just trying to make up for that week three performance. Yeah, that week three was bad. That was really bad. But all right, let's let's go ahead and talk about the teams here, Jared. So let's bring up bring up our tier list here. S -tier. Chaos theory yep. out of the way. Salute mm -hmm. picks out of the way. So, now it's time for the tier list. All right. So S tier. Ohio, we have Ohio State, Texas, Alabama, and in no Georgia. particular order. No, well, no, for the no three, yeah. in the for the first three at least, in no particular order. Yep. Georgia. What to do with Georgia? Well, they it, got it, Kyle. You in in the Monday episode. You used the phrase "tale of two halves." <laughs> well. Yeah. Do I well, have I'll, a one-up yeah, for it was, you? 
I, I, th- I think what I said was it was a tale of like the first four drives. And sure. that could be said exactly the same here. Yeah. First four drives for Alabama were touchdowns up 28 to nothing. Yeah. And hats off to Georgia. Hats off to Georgia to come back down 28 to nothing. Or was it was it 28 to nothing or was it? I, I think they, you added safety on top of a safety and a so field goal on top of that. 20, it was 28 to nothing. And then and then uh, Georgia got a touchdown. Yeah, the and touchdown then, did come. And then Alabama play. got a safety, thirty to seven at halftime. But yeah, that fourth quarter they just went on a, they went on a rampage with three straight touchdowns to take the one point lead and an amazing, amazing catch and run by Ryan Williams there to, to put Alabama back on top. But and then a game saving interception by Zabin Brown, who people who follow Ohio State recruiting know the name Zabin Brown. Uh, Zim Brown with a game say uh, as a true freshman game saving interception for Alabama on the on the goal line in the end zone actually, um. Yeah, so that's our quick Alabama Georgia recap. So like obviously Alabama stays in S tier. <laughs> what do we do with Georgia? Like if they had just gotten blown out, like it looked like was going to yeah, happen yeah, yeah. through the first half, we'd have dropped them down to a tier, no doubt. Yeah. And it, it, but with them coming back, what do we do with Georgia? So I, I, I look at this. Georgia had. Had four turnovers. Yeah. Georgia had four turnovers. It was in position to win this game. They they were leading, they were leading halfway over halfway into the fourth quarter. Well, with, they would have been tur- with four well, turnovers. That would have been with three turnovers cuz they hadn't the fourth one well, came at yeah. the end of the game. But yeah, I mean, did Bama also have turnovers though? Uh they had one. So, they were minus two turnovers. When they took the lead. I mean, that's not ideal, but it's not devastating. No, and also, like, you commit those turnovers, right? They don't happen in a vacuum. So. What do you do with Georgia? It, it's, it's, I'll say it's, right now, uh, I don't I don't have a strong take. I kind of want to keep them in S tier. But if you're willing to tell me, no, we should drop them to A tier. I'm willing to listen. I honestly, just because of the sheer talent that they have, I, I really think that, I really think need to keep them in an S tier. Again, if if they lost by more here by two scores, yeah, I'd probably drop them down to A tier. But because of the way they came back, took the lead, and almost won it at the end there, I put them in the far backside of S tier, but definitely. But still an S tier. Yep. To me. We already talked about Ohio State. Ohio State's gonna remain in S tier. Mm. Uh Texas did what they should have done against a lesser opponent. N- no move for Texas. Alabama, we already talked about. If we cared about ordering S tier, we'd probably move them into the first spot, but we don't care about ordering S tier. So we'll just leave them as is. Yep. So All right. no one's leaving S tier despite a loss, which is impressive. Um, does anyone, do you want to make the case for anyone entering S tier? Miami had a subpar performance. Well, let's, let's, let's take care. Let's, let's talk about them one at a time here to see if we want to move them, move them up then. So first one here on the, on the list that we have here is Tennessee. Tennessee, I believe was on a bye week. So yeah, no, no movement there. Oregon. Oregon beat UCLA 34 to 13. I don't think they did really anything special. They played UCLA, took care of business, didn't do anything to impress me to to move it up. So they were I mean, definitely it was, a, a, a solid playoff. And then to Oregon's to Oregon's credit, they were up 28 to 10 at halftime. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it this isn't a situation where they ran it up late. Like they had it in control at halftime and took their foot off the gas a little bit. Eh, yeah. Whatever. Leave Oregon where they are. Good win for Penn State, though. 
Yeah. No, absolutely. This was this this wasn't their wide out, right? It was a night game. It might have. I mean, listen, the crowd was wearing a lot of white. That's what I'll, that's what I'll say. I don't know if it was actually like their quote unquote white game or not, but but the crowd was um very monochrome looking. I'll say that. Oh no, it was their white out. Nope, it was their white out. Yeah. Uh yeah, hats listen, off to Illinois. It was seven if seven. If I'm seven Penn seven State, at halftime. If I'm Penn State, every home night game, everyone should just be wearing white. It's such an insane atmosphere. Like, hey, oh, I'm going to a Penn State game at night and Happy Valley. Guess what? We're wearing white. Like, why does it even have to be announced? Like, just do it. It's just it's no longer a game. It's now a season long tradition. And that's my call anyway. Spikes agrees with me. But yeah. Kyle wanted to talk oh, no, about the I'm, actual I'm sorry. Game. This was not, I'm sorry. This oh. was not white out. I apologize. Uh, um, the, the crowd was wearing a lot of white. I think that maybe they agree with me. Just make them all yeah. white outs. They said the white out is scheduled for November 9th against Washington. Yay. Because, because they need to improve their white out uh, win percentage. <laughs> no, it's because Fox wants to put the premier games in the noon window. That's why. And they don't want to do the white out during the day because it doesn't have magic during the day. They've won they've won they won their past four uh white out games. Since Fox started screwing with the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, uh Illinois I thought played a really good game. Um Penn State just sort of outlasted them towards the end. It was 7-7 through the majority of the game. Um, Penn State gets a, you know, a really good drive together, scores in the third quarter. And then that fourth quarter, I think Illinois was just toasted. Like gassed. Yeah, they were they, gassed. Yeah, they were toasted. They were gassed. So, they were cooked. Yep, like Penn, it, it, so yep. Penn State does add on an extra touchdown at the end. But yeah, I mean, this was not a 14 point game, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, that's how it ends. But Illinois played better than that. So honestly, good game for Illinois. Um, good game for Penn State. Uh, I don't yeah. I'm so, not going to so, make the case that we move Penn State up into S2, no, though. I, I don't think so either. And Miami, for the record, I, I'm not going to make the case. And maybe maybe we talk about mm -hmm. this now because I did move Illinois over to the right down here in B tier. I'm going to make the case not to drop them. Yeah, I, um, I think they should remain in B tier. I think so, too. I, th I think they should should be there, too. It's was it is that that was their first loss. Yeah, it was only yeah. their first loss. And a one loss team could be could be in uh, in the conference championship game. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I agree with that. Uh, Miami with that near um, should have bullshit should have. Should have lost, but the scoreboard doesn't indicate that. Uh, they they beat Virginia Tech thirty eight to thirty four. Bullshit. I I agree. I want my, I want I my chaos theory picks. But they but they remain in A tier. They're they're five and zero, uh, leading the ACC right now. So they an ACC team needs to be in here. Yeah. So I I put them in A tier. I'll tell you this, though, before that Virginia Tech game, we were having conversations about moving Miami up into S tier. I, I'm now totally demotivated to move Miami up into S tier. I, I now have no yep. desire to do it. All right. Missouri. Uh, I think Missouri is a solid football team. They are. I think they had a bye week. So yeah, I don't they think they played it. this week. Yep. Uh, Boise State. Boise State. Uh, Destroyed uh, Washington. What? State, well, excuse me, Washington State. I want to say destroy. It was it was only seventeen to ten at halftime, and then Boise State scored a touchdown, but put in a lot of points in that in that fourth quarter. There, so Washington I want to say it was State. Destroyed. It was still Washington State also put up a lot of points in the fourth quarter. Like it turned into a classic Pac-12 after dark game there for a minute. Yeah. Boise State already <laughs> feeling like they're in the conference. I, they're 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 the top. They're the top um, uh, non-power five or power four uh, team. Uh, so yeah, I think Boise state right now is our, is our top playoff team one. Yeah. I mean, 
Liberty didn't play because they were supposed to play Appalachian State. That game didn't happen due to flooding. Uh, yep. Hearts and minds to everyone in, in Appalachia, Tennessee, North Carolina, where some horrendous floodings taking place right now. Some things more important than football. Liberty didn't play this weekend. Um, other uh, here's the thing. UNLV. UNLV this week. Had some drama. Their quarterback and their running back have decided to redshirt themselves and not play anymore this season yeah. for UNLV. And it's kind of a he said, she said right now, they say that UNLV isn't delivering on their NIL promises. UNLV is saying we did, but they're trying to hold us out for more money. I don't know who to believe. I'm not getting into it. Until there's some sort of proof, I'm not going to take a side on that. I would say in both cases the you know, whatever. Point is that UNLV still had an amazing game this weekend. They did, yeah. Which is interesting. You kind of would expect UNLV to fall off the face of the earth. But they did not. Um, they had a dominating win this weekend which was shocking. Mm. Yeah. Um, but I'm still right. not going to put them in over two games, Boise. Two other games, then we're going to take a quick ad break here. Utah. Utah is um, one, of, one of the victims to Team Chaos here, losing to Arizona 23-10. to 10. I'm okay putting them down. I'm okay moving them down. But if we do that, we have to replace them with a Big 12 team. We do. And I think the I think there's a very strong contender to who to replace them with. There's there's I think the Big 12 is one. so the Big 12 is so open. Yeah, yeah. The Big 12 is it's so almost like open. It's almost like it's filled with a bunch of mediocre teams or something. So here, here here's the teams. Ready? BYU. Yeah. yeah. Five and oh. Iowa State. Uh one loss? No, four and oh. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just looking at teams that are uh, undefeated in their conference right now. Uh, Texas okay. Tech, Texas Tech, really? Arizona, Arizona, Arizona is undefeated. Arizona has in conference? only one loss. Arizona okay. only has one loss. That was that was out. That their one loss was out of conference. Yeah, that was the that was the loss to Kansas State. Kansas State's in conference. Uh, yep, that was their one loss. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's so they have one loss in conference. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. I'm I'm looking at that wrong here. Yeah. Um. Oh, Spike says that the Kansas State game was a non-conference game. Apparently, it was scheduled. Even though that's a conference opponent, it was a non-conference game. So we're both right. Wow. Very confusing. And the and the other team, Jared. The Buffaloes are are in there too. Uh, also undefeated in conference because their one loss is to Nebraska, who's yep. in the Big Ten, obviously. Um, yep. Pretty wide open, as you stated. Uh -huh. I think at this point, I'm, I got to go with the the best record team right now. So, I, uh, who, who, actually, I don't know. It's BYU, technically. Yeah, I, I guess BYU. I guess I would put BYU then. I'm okay with BYU. All right. And then the other team here is Ole Miss. I think. I think Ole Miss falls uh, to Team Chaos. Falls to, honestly, I really want to drop them to C tier, but it's only their, it's only one loss. So I put them way back. I put them way back in B tier. I I would have never made the case to drop them into C tier. I would not have let you got away with that. But yeah, B tier is fine. And then I think I think we since since all M moved out M that's a that's a that's a little that's a little premature spikes. Now they're definitely a team that's an M candidate. Yeah, 
so there's so since we moved in that we have to move one one team up jared we have to move one team yeah and we should definitely move that one team up after this ad break absolutely it is ad time uh the sloopcast.com is the place where you can find all of our different links if you want a more direct route you can go to patreon.thesloopcast.com where you can support us for as little as three dollars a month and get access to everything you probably want access to including early access to episodes uh access to the premium channels and the discord server um early access uh live access like spikes is using right now to chat with us during the show um those are a bunch of different perks you get for supporting us financially and also like you just keep the show going uh you just keep you just help us keep the show going quite frankly um discord is i already mentioned a place where you can come hang out with us it's the only social media i really use anymore so if you want to come have a conversation with us join our discord server discord.thesloopcast.com and of course sub to us on youtube youtube.thesloopcast.com and we have merch stores but maybe we'll talk about merch stores in the next ad break for right now here are the regular ads all right I went to the wrong screen again, as is tradition at this point. All right. Who to replace Ole Miss with? I have four candidates. I have. I also have four candidates. Okay. You can tell who my four candidates are by looking at the tier list if you want to, or you could just tell me who your four candidates are, and we can have a conversation. (laughs) Those aren't those are the four, Jared. Okay. <laughs> Clemson, Notre Dame, Michigan, and LSU. And it's hard. It's hard putting. Should LSU, we just talk about their games? It, 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 it's 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 hard putting LSU up because they lost to USC. Yeah, and you can't really put USC up there because they lost to Michigan. Yeah, and it's hard putting Notre Dame up there. Because of their loss to Northern Northern Illinois, right? And it's hard to put. I mean, I mean, maybe you could put Clemson up there. Then they uh, lost to Georgia. They have the best they, loss. They, they, if they, you want to play the was, best that, loss game, best loss, but it was a like a non competitive. That's true. Loss. It was also a non competitive. Thirty four to three. Thirty four to three. They were not in the game at all. So maybe not so, the so, best loss. I mean. They App State, North Carolina State, Stanford, not the not the toughest competitions here. And they they beat those teams that um in in a uh, in a beatdown fashion there that they that they should have here. I mean, Clemson has that chance to be to be that team, and I don't even uh, we do, we do have Miami up there. I was going to say we need an ACC team, but we have Miami up there. I really don't have a good case for any of them. I, I really don't. I, I agree. I, I don't. I, 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 there's not, I was really hoping you were going to go hard in the paint for one of them. Cause I don't have a hard, I, I don't like any of them. Quite frankly, LSU like doesn't I, have a, LSU doesn't have a good win. Their best win is South Carolina. Right. Um, USC, USC's best win is LSU. And, Michigan's best win is against USC. And Notre Dame's best win is against LSU. Or uh no no, no uh, uh Texas sorry. A&M Te- Texas A&M and Louisville. Right. I got my SEC teams crossed in my brain for a second. Um I got to say Notre Dame, they have two good wins yeah. which is more than I- the other 3 can say. I, I would say, yeah, even though they have probably the worst loss in terms of who they lost to, but I, I think their their wins their wins outweigh those. So yeah, I'd I'd say Notre Dame. Yeah, I mean, I think it's been a long standing stance on this podcast that we're more concerned about who you beat as opposed to who you lost to. I think that's a thing that that's a mantra of the show for sure. Yeah. Um so yeah, I feel comfortable putting uh Notre Dame in there. 
All right. So with that, those are our 12 teams. So we have Ohio State, Texas, Alabama, Georgia, no particular order in the S tier. A tier, uh, we have Tennessee, Oregon, Penn State, Miami, Missouri, Boise State, BYU, and Notre Dame. I was just double checking my math. That is 12. Yep. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and rapid fire these B tiers here real quick here. Uh Michigan looked like they were in a route. Minnesota, Jared's Golden Gophers, but they Not my gophers. came back. Came back in, almost won that. Uh Michigan won 27 to 24. And one of the axes or jugs, what what whatever one of those um that one be a jug. Trophies are. So I think technically ah, it's a spittoon. No, it's a jug. Michi- it's a water jug. Michigan, Michigan playing with fire here. Playing with fire. So I listen, listen, listen. I think there may have been some some bullshit happening in this game too, as Spikes is talking about in the chat. Um There was an onside kick at the end of the game. Minnesota recovered said onside kick. The referees claimed that a Minnesota player was offsides. That call was bullshit, in my opinion. This is how you know they're Jared's Gophers. Or maybe yeah. it's because I'm hating on Michigan or because I don't know. I'm just telling the truth. Go watch the replay and decide for yourself. Was he offsides? Spoiler alert. He was not. And if you try to say otherwise, you're a Michigan fan. If you try and turn this into a Jared's Golden Gophers thing, you're a Michigan fan. <laughs> That's right. I played that card. Mm, by All the right, way, Kyle, uh, I just want to point out if I can jump back over to. A, you notice how I beat you by one game in the slip picks yeah. this week? That's uh-huh. because you picked Michigan. Okay. I just want you to know All that right. that's because you picked Michigan. All right. And that and that's that's a uh, fail on me for, for doing that, by the way. Uh, and. I, I hold on. If I switch back to this screen, it makes the chat a tad bit bigger. Uh, there's the kick. And if I scroll up a bit, you can see none of these players are offsides. Uh, Minnesota gets screwed. Thank you for the visual spikes. Ref was throwing right, the flag right, no matter what let's, let's, you got. All right, we got we got to move through these real quick here. So Michigan not moving. Uh Clemson uh took care of business over Stanford. They're not moving. Uh, LSU beat Southern Alabama, not moving. Liberty did not play, as Jared mentioned before. UNLV uh moving up in the top 25, uh still undefeated right now. I think stays in B tier. They they're a part of that group of five which Notre Dame may be that team too. Let's not, let's not forget about Notre Dame as well. I think Notre Dame just goes in as a, just as a, uh, an at large. I don't think they qualify there. It's five conference champions. Notre Dame is not a conference champion. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, Oklahoma. By the way, uh, they beat just just want to point go back to UNLV real quick. They beat Fresno State, who is not a bad group of five team. Fifty nine to fourteen. You'll remember that Michigan struggled against Fresno State earlier this year. Uh, just to just to throw that out there for no particular reason. All right. Oklahoma beat Auburn. Uh, they had to they had to come back in the fourth quarter to beat Auburn. Uh, they're 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 soon they're soon to be out of that bubble, in, in my opinion. Yeah. But they 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 they, they still have just one loss, so I, they 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 stay there. Uh, USC um, beat Wisconsin. They're still a one loss. Stay where they're at. Nebraska, a 
did not see about Nebraska. Were they off? No, they, no, they, 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 they beat played, Purdue. Yeah. They beat Purdue here. Uh, they say where they're at. Yeah, it Kansas was just an unnoteworthy game. <laughs> yeah. Kansas State beat Oklahoma State. Um, good win. 42, 42 to 20. Yeah, very good win. Very good win for Kansas State. We didn't uh, mention them. We should have. But we didn't mention them when talking about which Big 12 team should go up into A. I still think BYU was the correct choice for the record. But they should have been mentioned in that conversation, but they weren't. Fair. Fair. Um, I didn't see about JMU. I didn't I didn't see them. Did you see them, Jared? I don't remember. I don't believe they played. I don't I don't think so. I, I'm almost certain they did not play. Uh nope, they did. They played Ball State and they won oh. 63 to 7. Okay. There you go. So nice win for James Madison. Yep. Um, Indiana Iowa with State. An... Oh, sorry. Yep. Go ahead. You do. I, I, Iowa, Iowa State uh still undefeated, beats Houston 20 to nothing. And Indiana. 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 42 to 20, 42 to 28 like, over Maryland here. Woo. Five and oh, five and oh to start the start the season as they as I've seen here. First time that they were five and oh since 1967. And by the way, some of these games have been. Decisive, dare I say decisive. Um, yeah, they they have been. Yeah, this this was their closest game. Yeah, I mean, and it's not, they've not played great teams up until this point. Uh, they did. No, they're, do, they're, not, do, they're not going to it for another four weeks, <laughs> three weeks. Yeah, so, I mean, Maryland's definitely the toughest game on their schedules, you know, up until now. They do have Nebraska coming in a couple of weeks. Uh, they do have Michigan in November. Uh, and of course, they do play Ohio State in November. So we'll see how long that that holds up. Yep. All right, we're going to go ahead and take our. That didn't uh, second stop act. Indiana from losing in the past. Spikes, yep. well said. That is true. Yep. All right, we're going to take our uh, second ad break here. Uh, so again, head on over to the slewcast uh, to check out all of our uh, lovely links from. From our YouTube page to merchandise to becoming a patron over at patreon.thesoulcast.com and as well as discord.thesoulcast.com to join our hooligans down in the chat. Um, we do a lot of a lot of uh, great conversations, a lot of different um, hosting different events um, internally in our Discord channel. A uh, lot, lot of yeah, join us. A uh, lot, lot of lot of uh, uh, great things that we do in, in our Discord. So. Check those out. Check those links out. Again, the com is your main go to page to find all of those links and much, much more. So, with that being said, we'll go ahead and take our ad break and be right back. Okay, Kyle. We already made the choice to leave. We already talked about Illinois. We already made the choice to keep Illinois and B tier despite their loss. Um, we moved Utah and Ole Miss down. I don't have any intent or desire to move them down any further than B. Um, so that brings us to Louisville, UCF, and the other OSU. They lose this weekend. How, how do we feel about their standing in B tier? Oh. Well, well, let's talk about the games. Louisville loses yeah. to Notre Dame. Yep. It was their first loss. Yeah. It's their first loss. And they lost to a uh, similarly ranked team and they mm -hmm. lost by a score. I, I, I think I they say stay, we keep I them. think they stay they stay in B tier. It's a one loss ACC team. So Yes. And for the what it's worth, this isn't an ACC game. So they are undefeated in conference, which I think matters yep. a lot for an ACC team trying to get into the playoffs. Yeah. UCF loses. Yeah. I 
even though this is only their first loss, like it's a it's a bad loss. Yeah, yeah. they got they got demolished I, I th- by Colorado. I think you swap UCF in Colorado. I don't disagree. Uh, same thing with Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State lost pretty pretty bad to Kansas State. This is their second loss here. And their second conference loss, right? And their second and- conference loss here, yeah. And they can make their way back up to B tier depend, depending on how how the rest the 12 of the big sh- shapes does. out shapes out to shapes out to to do but at this point they they need other teams to lose in front of them so i i put o- oklahoma state in c tier all right so that brings us to c tier i have separated out and of course, I separated out 12 teams, but Kyle already snagged one of them with Colorado. But I have another 11 teams that we could potentially talk about moving up into B tier. Sure. Are any of those the armed forces? Two of them. Uh-huh. Army and Navy. Not the Air Force. Not the Air Force. No. No, not Air Force, but Army and Navy. Um, both undefeated currently. Yeah, crazy. Cra- crazy seeing, seeing that both of them undefeated so far this year. And yeah. both of them group of five teams. <laughs> they are. They are, yeah. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how things I'll see how things shape out because they're they're caught they're Competition will start to to be more uh, competitive or or get tougher. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see how things shape out here with uh, with Navy and Army here. Yeah, I mean, right now we have Boise in A tier. We have UNLV, Liberty, and James Madison in B tier. I feel good having four teams playoff bubble and above representing the group of five. Um, I wouldn't be opposed to moving one of those up, but I also don't feel like it's necessary at this time. Should we start to see some fallout, whether it be UNLV or Liberty or Boise or whoever, and we start to need to maybe move some other group of five teams up? We can maybe start having conversations about Army and Navy, but I feel okay with them because I don't do. Do either of them have what you would call a marquee win at this point? I'd have to look. You have to give me a moment to look that up. Okay. Well, I ask that saying pretty, pretty sure and saying that they don't like. So that's that's sort of my reason for asking that um iowa so look, look at, oh sorry look, looking at it they navy's best win is temple memphis and uab memphis is a good win army's best wins is fau rice and temple memphis is a good win <laughs> I'm not opposed to moving Navy up. We had Memphis up here at one point. But we also don't. I'm also not going to fight you on it. Okay. I'm Iowa was I'm off. Uh, Iowa yeah. was off. Iowa was off. Um, they play Ohio State this weekend. They do. More, more on them on Thursday's episode. Yeah. I I don't I don't feel like moving them up into B tier this time though. Yeah. Pittsburgh Pittsburgh didn't play. Did not play. We'll keep an eye on them. How about Rutgers. the undefeated How about the undefeated Scarlet Rutgers. Knights of Rutgers? 4 and 0. 4 and 0 to start the season. Defeating Big 10 newcomer Washington in a close game. Mhm. In a game that can only be described as close. Um they keep winning. That's 
worth something. Yes, um, it is. I wouldn't say that they are winning in <laughs> Rutgers and Indiana undefeated crazy times. It's a great year for these teams not to be in the Big Ten East anymore. I tell you what. Penn State, Indiana, Rutgers, these teams are riding high off of no longer having to play Ohio State every single season. Although Indiana still has to play Ohio State this season. Indiana is the only Big Ten so team with... Indiana is the only current Big Ten team with five wins. Let that sink in. <laughs> Do you want to move Rutgers up into B tier, Kyle? Do sure. they have what we call a signature win? Does no. Washington count as a signature win? Well, here, here, here's it. How about, how about this? How about this? Okay. They say where they're at. Okay. If they win next weekend, they go up to B tier. Tell the people who they play next weekend. They're heading. They're heading on over to Lincoln, Nebraska. Yeah, we we'll we'll do a swap. If they win that game, we'll do a swap. There we go. There we go. Kentucky. You got our you got our eyes, Rutgers. Kentucky. So Kentucky's tough for me. Yes, yes, they beat Ole Miss. Uh-huh. They had a very they, good they, game against Georgia. But they that they lost. But they lost. They've lost two games. And both of them in conference. They lost South Carolina and Georgia already. That is that's going to be tough for them to uh, to get in in the Big Ten and the SEC. I'm less concerned about. Listen, there's 12 playoff spots. Five of them are going to conference champions. And I have a pretty strong feeling at this point. That the other seven are going to go to Big Ten and SEC teams. Yeah. You know, I, I think this is temporary, but. Yeah, I feel fine putting Kentucky up to B tier just because of the. I don't based on teams that they that they've beaten. I don't mainly Ole Miss. Yeah, I I don't. Okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna say no to that. South Carolina, I don't believe played this weekend. Um, no. I have no strong feeling. I have, I don't want to move them up. I now I'm gonna take that back. I straight up don't want to move them up. I think I say where they I don't either. Arizona. Now, now Arizona. We were well, pulling recent. up Arizona's pulling up Arizona's schedule here. Uh there were there were no show against Kansas State. Let's not forget about that. They were no show against Kansas State. Turn around and beat Utah next week here. That's their, really their only win cuz their other wins is against New Mexico where they let up 39 points. And yeah. um it was a really close win against Northern uh, Arizona, 22 to 10. So I'd say no for Arizona. I will say this about Arizona. If I can make one case or one point, I'm not going to make a full case. I'm just going to make one point. If we look at their, if we look at their rankings, or their their wins and their losses. The one loss is to Kansas State, as 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 we talked about. Yep. I'm trying to confirm, which is why I'm talking softly. I'm trying to confirm if that is a conference game or not, because we were getting some mixed. We're getting some mixed. According to, according to what I'm reading, it is not a it is not classified as a conference game. Yeah, um, it was. Yeah, OK, it is not. It was not a conference game. So. If the name of the game. They scheduled it prior to realignment. Yeah. If the name of the game for the Big 12 and the ACC is to win their conferences. They're still undefeated in conference. I think that's the case to move Arizona up. Now, mm. you also make a good case that yeah. they've not looked great in some of the wins that no. they should have yeah, looked so great I'll, in. I would say no. I agree. Texas A&M. 
Mess. What's their best win? What's yeah. their best win? I no, I'm, I'm not. If you're if you're asking me to make the case, I'm not going to make it. Okay. Yeah, right. I'm, I'm not. Yeah, that I they 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 fall pretty firmly into meh territory for me. SMU, you I see you have up here. Yeah, I have SMU up for conversation. They are four and one. They just obliterated Florida State. Of course, they did a, a one a one loss. Uh, ACC team, which is not in conference, they lost to BYU, mm-hmm. so they are one and zero in ACC play here. I'd, I'd say I'd put them on the same same platform with Rutgers. Come back to me this time next week if they win. Do they play next week? I actually, I actually don't they, they, know they, this they, one. Who they, do they, 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 I would actually, I would flip flop them if they beat uh, Louisville this weekend. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I'll, I'm down with that. I'm down with that. Okay. Boston College. My final team up for conversation. What's 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 Boston College's best win? Uh trick question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The answer is not Florida State. <laughs> it's it's not. It's um, probably Michigan State. Yeah. I would I would say so. Didn't they also beat Georgia Tech? Not that that's necessarily a huge. They did not. Am I confused? They put. They beat Florida State. De Quince. De Quince. De Quince. Kyle, Kyle, we've had this conversation already. It's du, It's Duquesne. Okay. <laughs> they it's lost a basketball to school. Yeah, it's they, all, of, they lost to Missouri. They lost to Missouri by six. Uh, Beat Michigan State by four and just beat uh, the Hilltoppers by one. So, no. Yeah, the, the, you know, I wanted to make the case for Boston College. I did. But when you beat Western Kentucky by one point as your most recent. Yeah, that's I wanted to make the case for Boston College, but we're we're not going to make the case for Boston College. All right, Kyle, this is uh, do you have any nominees for M tier? M tier right now for for states already there. So, yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> they're cemented in there. I should. I should lock and listen, I should Photoshop talk for a second. I have all, all of the layers you see here. They're all just baked into the graphic and locked in, except for the actual teams. I should just move Florida State into the foundation layer and just lock them in there at this point. I, I should not be able to click on them and move them around anymore. I should just bake them straight into the graphic at this point. Can we, <laughs> I, I know there's not high expectations here. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening. But I like, I just want to maybe just maybe not maybe maybe put them in M tier, but just delete them all together. <laughs> okay. Uh, they, they did get rid of their uh, offensive coordinator already. Uh, just four four games into here, they've only scored an average twelve points versus FBS teams this year. Twelve a game. Okay. Uh, go go. This you're talking about Purdue, right? I am. All right. Go go through their results for me. They beat Indiana State forty nine to nothing. Uh, don't care. Next result. They lost to Notre Dame sixty six to seven. Okay. They lost to Oregon State thirty eight to twenty one. Then they lost the other, to Nebraska. Other OSU. Yeah. Then they lost to Nebraska twenty eight to ten. What are you doing, Nebraska? <laughs> Come on, guys. You gotta score more than that. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, Kyle. I'll do this. I'll take Purdue. Uh, they're they're not worthy of M tier. They're just not no. worthy of it. And I'm gonna put them over here next to your wolf pack where they belong. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> spikes, <laughs> spikes, I had that in the chamber the entire time. I want you to know I had that in the chamber from Git. All right. Uh, that's it. That's the end of the episode. Yes. Uh, unless yeah, there's some I, I think, uh, ask Sloopcast mailbag. Uh, the, the only one here, only ones here I have is what do you think about the, the big 
three little guys right now, Illinois, Indiana, and Rutgers. I'm very impressed with Illinois. I think they're a legitimate football team. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't really sat down and watched either Indiana or Rutgers in any great detail yet. Um, So I am, I'm going to, I'm going to hold off too much judgment there. Uh, I do like what Greg Shauna has been doing at, at Rutgers. I, I think that that's a, a good program. I, I, I think that they struggle offensively and I don't see any hope coming to fix those offensive struggles for Rutgers. Um, you know, they, they have a good run game, but when they have to play someone who's going to score points on them and then they're forced to pass, they're screwed. Um, yeah. Indiana, I just like straight Michigan. up have like Michigan. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Indiana, I just straight up have not watched like a full Indiana game yet. So I'm going to hold no. judgment there. No. Um, and one more question we hear. It says, WTF, did I watch with Georgia and Alabama? <laughs> that, was one of the, that was one of the most Pac-12 after dark games I've ever seen two SEC teams play in my life. That That yeah. was straight up. That was straight up some Washington State versus UCLA kickoff at 11 p.m. bullshit. That's what that was. The Big 12 has invaded the SEC and gotten some of that Big 12 dirt in it. Straight up. That, that was some... That was some Baylor versus, yeah, so tainted. So very tainted. See, meanwhile, in the Big Ten, these Pac-12 teams join the Big Ten and they just immediately become Big Ten teams. Look at Washington losing to Rutgers 21 to 18. They are so Big Ten now. <laughs> well, look at the Michigan-USC game. That was such a Big Ten football game. That, those are my thoughts. All right. All right. Um, Kyle, I think that's it. Do you have anything in Kyle's corner? I, no, not, not, not fan here. We're getting out of state. Oh, well, actually looking at the, looking at the upcoming schedule. I know that we're running short on time here, but looking at the, the schedule for week six here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, some, some, some good games, good games here. There's a, um, I think there's a potentially a uh, sneaky game, Friday game, a uh, Friday okay. night game, uh, two games actually. I think there's two games Friday night that could be sneaky good, and there's there's a couple of um couple of good games here for for week six. I don't think it's gonna be as high. Um, I don't think it's gonna be as high as last as last weekend here that we saw, but I think there's some there could be some really good really good games here. So they may, they may surprise people. Yeah. MSU and Oregon. Good Friday night yep. game. That'll end up in mm -hmm. the sloop picks, I think. Mm -hmm. um, Nooners. Syracuse and UNLV, I think, would be a really close game. That'll be interesting for sure. Mm -hmm. As far Missouri, as Nooners go. Um, Missouri and Texas A&M. Yeah. Um, probably S SMU and Louisville would be, would be an interesting game that uh, we mentioned SMU a little bit here. Yeah. And I think Penn state should roll over UCLA. So probably <laughs> not that one. Um, at three 30, we obviously have Ohio state playing Iowa. Uh, don't, I'm roll. not seeing a great do second not, 330 do game. not, do not rule out. South Carolina beating Mississippi. Ole Miss and South Carolina game. Uh huh. Yep. Worth keeping an eye. That might be the other. That might be the other three thirty pick for the sloop picks. And at the primetime window, we definitely got to get that Clemson FSU game in there, right? <laughs> Man, we thought that was going to decide the conference at the beginning of the season, didn't we? Yeah. About that. Yeah. USC Minnesota. 
Michigan, Washington. Um, yeah, this is. Ooh, no, man, not the a, prime time window is the garbage prime times next are week. Not good. Yeah, worst worst time slot is the is the night games. Absolutely. Yikes. Your your best games is USC, Minnesota, Michigan, Washington, Tennessee, and Arkansas. God, you're I hate that you're right. All right, that's it. And, that's, ga- and game day game days heading out to California where they're taking on Miami. God, really? Uh-huh. They're just not even trying to go to Big Ten games, huh? Of course not. Yeah, of course not. Why would they? Because they're supposed to, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, that's it. That's the end of the show. Do you, uh, we, I guess we just did Kyle's corner. Um, the guru did have a nice win. They, they should have, they should have got three points, but yeah, it is what it is. All right. Uh, hey. that's it. That's the end of the show. Uh, tonight's ending music uh, will once again be the dopamines. They're a punk band out of Southwest Ohio. So with all of that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, watch local podcasters once again. These are the dopamines.